Hello traders and welcome to the Forex Board live trade examples. In this video we will be analyzing the New Zealand Japanese yen currency pair and we will try to find an opportunity whether the buying or selling. So together with you we'll be looking at the price action and seeing what could be the price potential in the coming days. And before we start guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support us where we can make even more videos for you which might help to improve your trading skills. Let's get started and analyze this currency pair. Well overall the trend is up, the price remains above the 200 exponential moving average. The second line is the blue line which is the 50 moving average. And the first thing that uh, we might see is the potential breakout. It is not confirmed, it still seems quite bullish. So I would like to use some FIBs to apply to this overall price action. And I will start probably to this corrective wave down which uh, resulted in the rejection of the 50 simple moving average. So let's take this high and this low. And what we can see is that could be the resistance. Well, straight away, maybe not, but it seems like there was a clean rejection of this level. If it holds, it could be bearish. Let's apply FIBS to this wave now down. For example, from this top to the bottom. And we see there is 88.6 FIBS that is also being rejected. So there is definitely a resistance forming on the New Zealand Japanese yen. Now I'm gonna just clean the chart so we have a clear picture and can be seen there is a resistance at this area. Let's apply trend lines and channels to this setup as well, to the latest price action. So I'm gonna use this trend line. Straight away we can see there was the break below the trend line. Let's now apply the channel so I'm going to take two, two highs and the low in between them. I'm going to extend it even. But also, guys, we could be having this as the initial low. So I'm going to drag my channel through this low in price. And what we have is the rejection of the channel. So it seems like price could have been stuck between this support and resistance. But currently, if there is a buying opportunity, we definitely need to break above the previously made high and then wait for the correction. In regards to the selling opportunity, I do like how the price rejected the last 4 hour candle cleanly rejected this level 427.2 at 73.91 and it also approached the 88.6 FIBS which could be also rejected. So we already have one confirmation that it has been rejected. Now let's apply the oscillator, for example MACD, just go to indicators, type MACD and apply just default settings. I'm going to just remove these lines. Okay, so MACD shows us if there is a potential reversal or a continuation. And what we can see on the MACD is basically that price is forming a bearish diversion. So here was a high and then lower high. And on the price there was a higher high and yet another high high. So clearly this is the bearish divergence formed at this high, which means that there is a potential for this downside move. It's a bit too risky, although if we find a good risk to reward ratio, we might be able to get an extremely good opportunity. So what I think is that if price will not manage to break above this high, this should be a very interesting opportunity. Let's let's imagine that we enter the trade short at the current price and stop loss would be approximately just above, above this high. So we have stop loss of 17 pips. So what could be our profit target? Let's, let's uh, add some more Fibonacci levels. So I'm going to apply it to the overall uptrend and I am going to apply it from the last to the last wave to the upside. Okay, so now we have two FIBs and we can see there is a cluster of FIBs at this level support which is 72.80 and 72.03, so psychological level. Now the interesting point is probably the extended channel. So we have the the moving average moving and if we just imagine that it will continue moving that way like that and the channel we can expect price to do something like that that if we go with the moving average or price could go 
towards this support which corresponds to extended descending channel. Let's just apply FIBS to the current correction. So if this in fact the top, so I'm taking the low and the high. Maybe I should take the high where we had this clean rejection of the FIBS. So I'm going to apply it to this, this price. So what we have now is we have 161.8 FIBS corresponding to 61.8 FIBS. So here is a cluster and this is what I like. I like this, uh, this potential target. We have a risk to reward ratio of 8 if we go with the current price. I think it's pretty good. So decent risk to reward ratio. Let's just clean the chart yet again. And this what we're left with. So this is the potential price movement that I would expect. And this is what we're left with. So this could be a very, very interesting and rewarding opportunity for shorting. You see there, this is actually a trade against the trend, but if it provides such a good risk to reward ratio, I think it's worth the case. So um, le let's consider taking it because from what I see is that price is rejecting this 427.2 FIPS and also right at the top 88.6 FIPS. So this is very, very strong resistance. And the stop loss just, I mean, 17 pips, considering that we are aiming for 140 pips, I think it worth the case. So let's, let's take this opportunity and see how it will work out. I'm going to move to the MT4. But before that, let's see where should be our stop loss. Well, the highest point has been at 7404. My spread is about 2 pips, so I need to add about 3 pips to this high, which will make it 74.07. So new trade on the MT4. We're going to go short and place stop loss at 7.407 in regards to our profit target. Well, we can use any of these levels. I'm going to use the higher level just in case, because maybe we'll not test the second one, but there is a cluster and I need to have this level tested first. So it's 72.51 and we have two pips spread, which we need to add in case it's a selling trade. That would make it 72.54. Let's make it 54. Okay, so we have stop loss 74.07. 72.54 is the take profit. Let's sell. You can see that it's a quite good risk to reward, if not perfect and we do expect this move to the downside from this current price even if it goes against us i mean it's not a big deal it's like 17 pip risk against 140 come on who would not take it this is where you can take the counter trend approaches and you can apply it because you need a good risk to reward ratio and this is what i like in counter trading because they can offer you that and if price breaks to the upside, meaning it's most likely the uptrend will continue and we will be kicked out. Nonetheless, this seems to be a very decent opportunity. So let's wait and see. It could be two, three, four or five trading days. Not sure. But for you guys, it will be just a few seconds. OK, traders, we're back to the New Zealand Japanese yen currency pair. From what we can see, the price has declined as expected and our entry point was nearly perfect. That was a good entry. Although what is happening right now is I can see that there is a rejection of the 127.2 FIPS at 72.82. And besides, we see also that there was the resistance area which got rejected. I don't like this rejection. I think it's time to actually fix the profit on this currency pair. And as we can see, now we can calculate the risk reward. If we close it now, we had it at 3.74. So this is an extremely good risk to reward ratio that we have managed to achieve. Time to fix profit. This rejection, this is what I don't like. You can see not always price is going towards the level you expect. Maybe it will go, but I spotted this rejection and I think this is a good time to basically close it. Considering that we had a perfect risk to reward ratio, nearly zero drawdown and we will go in to close this trade right now on the MT4 platforms. So let's go to the MT4. This is our trade. As you can see, time to close it. So I'm going to close the trade 
and this trade is currently visible on our chart. We entered at this high and we closed it at this low. As you can see, there was a total of 95 pip profit. This is the trade at the bottom, entered at 73.90 and closed at 72.95. 95 pip profit and it took us eight trading days it did take quite a bit of time but considering we had a perfect risk to reward ratio very good literally zero drawdown i think the opportunity was there it has been captured and we fixed the profit so nicely done and i do hope you enjoyed this live example if you did smash the like guys and don't forget to subscribe to our channel click the notification bell to follow the next trade example that we will publish shortly so till next time and i wish you a lot of profits